What's going on guys, it's Ruben here back again with another action figure review review. And today we're going to be having a look at the McFarlane Toys Harry Potter series Hermione Granger figure. Now this is an absolutely amazing figure guys, I'm super excited to have this figure in my collection. Uh, everything about this figure is absolutely great. I honestly don't really have that many uh, gripes about this figure. Um, but as always, before we get into the actual figure, let's have a look at the packaging real quick and then we'll come back. Alright, so for starters here we have the packaging guys. And it's the same packaging that we got uh, with the Harry Potter figure right over here. Uh, however, the only difference is the background. I'm glad they changed the background. And for the background, we just have those like, that, those stack of books um, that we saw in the movie. I believe it was, it was either part one or part two. I've got to rewatch the series, honestly. Uh, but it's whenever they were flying their broomsticks um, into the room. Um, so great attention to detail right there. I'm glad they decided to go with a different background. Overall, it's the same thing. Harry's face is kind of uh, messed up right there from the packaging. Uh, we have Harry Potter up here. Uh, it says Wizarding World right there, and it's a picture of Harry Potter. We have the Hermione Granger name on this bottom right there. Same thing on the side. Uh, we have just uh, another background right here with Harry Potter right there. Uh, same thing right there. It says Hermione Granger again. On the bottom, just a bunch of uh, words and a barcode. On the top, you get a little uh, window to see through. It says McFarlane Toys. On the back, you get all the other figures in the way. It says Harry Potter up there. Um, you get all the other figures. I'm not going to get Bugbeak, unfortunately. I just don't really find it interesting. I'd rather stick to the actual figures. I already did a review over Harry Potter, so if you missed that, go back and watch it. Here we have Hermione Granger, we have Lord Voldemort, and we have Ron Weasley. So, that's the packaging. Let's get into the figure now. And here we have Hermione Granger, guys. And right off the bat, I just want to say this figure is awesome. Uh, the likeness to Emma Watson is just spot on. It looks great right there. Um, I mean, I can't say enough good things about this figure. It's awesome. Um, this figure has met my expectations. McFarlane has done, has done an amazing job once again. Um, capturing the likeness of Emma Watson from every angle. I think it looks great. I've got no complaints about this figure at all. Um, probably the hands. Uh, once again, they made the hands, uh, the paint on the hands look kind of weird. But it's really not, really not that big of a deal. Um, I guess right there along the chest area, not trying to be pervert or anything, but um, around the chest area, let me see. You can see the paint, the pink paint from the hoodie kind of like getting in on the skin tone. So, see, right there on the edges. So in my opinion, they kind of messed up on that, but it's not really that big of a deal. You can't really see unless you look, you know, hard at the figure. Um, same thing on the cuffs, just a little bit on the cuffs. Uh, where else? There's a few other spots. The zipper, the zipper, uh, the golden zipper right there, honestly not that bad. There are some points where it does get on the uh, pink a little bit, but overall it's not too bad. Uh, the pink does get on the denim jacket here a little bit, but like I said, honest, it's honestly not too bad. I really wish they would have painted uh, this pink hoodie right there um, a blue, like to match the denim jacket, but I don't know. But honestly, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, great figure. Let's go ahead and get into the accessories real quick. There are, you know, overall it does have a little bit of paint, you know, mist paints, but it's not too bad, honestly. Let's go ahead and get into the accessories real quick. So for the accessories, once again, she does come with these weird clips that I know nothing about. I honestly don't know what their purpose is for. I still haven't found out why. I gotta watch a review over this to see what it's for, but I still don't really know why. Um, but yeah, she comes with that. She does come with her Patronus once again. Um, and once again, it, it does have a hard time getting in there, kind of like Harry's. So, I mean, it just barely gets on there, doesn't really go in at all. But yeah, hers is an otter, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I do love the translucency on this. It's really, really good. Especially right there on the legs. I love how it kind of fades to white, too, if you look real closely. But yeah, it's really, really cool. I love this. Hers is the smallest out of all of them, by the way. And, um... You also do get the stand right here. Pretty neat little stand. I just wish they would have made the hole in the Patronus a little bigger so that you can at least go in a little more, but it just barely stays on. If I were to like to sling it, it would fall off. She also, she also does come with her wand, and her wand is actually pretty interesting. Um, her wand compared to the other guy's wands is a bit different. Hers looks more like a twig, like a little tree branch maybe. Um, pretty good attention to detail though. 
It's a little more flimsy too. I'm glad. Uh, once again, I'm glad they went with like the soft material instead of hard material. That way, it doesn't break when you put it in the hands. But hers goes in just fine. So it doesn't really fall off or anything. I like hers. And then once again, she does come with the stand that says Harry Potter right there. I really wish I would have said her name instead, but yeah, there you go. Just like the Walking Dead stands. So yeah. Let's have a look at the figure again. Uh, once again, she is sporting a pink hoodie and a denim jacket. And she does have uh, darker denim jeans. thought they were black at first, but they're more of a dark, darker blue. Uh, so yeah, I love how they put the little hoodie down there too. I love how they like sculpted the hair so it goes over the hoodie, that way you don't break it or anything. On mine, if you do move the head a little, you know, a little too much, the head does pop off, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you can't pop it back on pretty easily. But once again, man, that lightness done Watson is spot on, man. It's awesome. Um, the toe articulation does bother me because it makes it look like she has like a witch's, uh, a witch's uh, shoe going on there. I, I, I prefer, I would have preferred it without the toe articulation, but it's honestly not that bad. It's just on this one, it's real flimsy on mine. On the left foot, not so much the right foot, see? But this one, you barely touch it, it goes up. And once again, that uh, Mafex style uh, ankle pivot, um, it's not too bad on this one. You could see it more on Harry, on the Harry figure, but not too bad. They did sculpt the bottom of her feet, but they did uh, put a peg hole. That's funny, because they sculpt the bottom of Ron's feet, but not hers. Uh, so, yeah. But yeah, the hands, they look like a custom person painted it and not a company. Um, I guess they look kind of chubby, in my opinion, and you can't really see the fingernails. So, I don't know. They look like they were painted after the figure was sculpted. I don't... I mean, that's just my opinion. So, I do have a problem with the hands, but besides that, it's not too bad. As long as the head sculpt is fine, that's all that really matters. It's not like anybody's going to be look, taking a real close look at this figure anyway. And they didn't sculpt the uh, hairband going on there, they just painted it, so that kind of bothers me a lot. And it feels like it should have been sculpted a little higher, or painted a little higher, in my opinion, but... I don't know. Just, just a little nitpick. Besides, I'm, I hate to pick out this figure, it's an awesome figure, I'm sorry guys. But yeah, there you have it. So let's go ahead and do articulation, and then we'll do... Uh, Size comparison time. By the way, it's good to note that she does stand on her own without the stand. Um, does take a little messing around, but it gets there. Anyway, for articulation, her head is on a ball joint, like I mentioned earlier. However, it does not move back because of her hair piece. Uh, does kind of pit. Well, mine won't pivot side to side really, just a little bit. Uh, it'll look down a lot actually. Uh, but like I said, mine's kind of just a little loose if you move it too much, so it does kind of pop off. Um, her shoulders do move in and out. They do rotate at the shoulder. They do rotate at the muscle, like a cut right there. Double bend at the elbow, which I'm super glad for. Love those double bends. Uh, rotation at the wrist, because it does have that little ball hinge wrist. So, and a pivot at the wrist. Uh, she does have a little bit of a nap crunch right there at the chest, but not too much. Does rotate right there. Uh, does rotate at the waist as well. It's stiff on my figure, though. Uh, then again, I just got it, so I haven't really moved it around that much. Uh, once again, it does have that DCUC crotch joint, uh, like the rest of the figures have, so I guess that's what McFarlane's doing now. Uh, figure does kick forward that much. The kick backward just a little bit. A double bend at the knee, which is always good. Uh, oh, I thought he had a, di a thigh cut. Oh, it does have a little bit of a thigh cut. It does move up a little bit. And once again, the ankles are on this uh, ball hinge, so... Let's go up that much. Let's go downward that much. It does pivot as well. And toe articulation, which honestly I don't really care for, but it's whatever. So yeah, there you have it. And for size comparison time, guys, she is the smallest one out of all of them. But here she is next to all the other figures in the wave. And yes, I finally got Voldemort. And here she is next to Lord Voldemort, Ron, and Harry. I already did a review over Harry. Ron will be next and Voldemort will be last. But yeah, she is the shortest out of all of them, but just wanted to compare it next to all the other figures in the wave. And then here we have her next to some other figures. We have the Marvel Legends Wolverine figure, and we have a NECA 
Terminator uh, T-800 police station assault figure here. Um, and actually, this is this is actually a pretty good example right now. Um, I like this figure because you can use her as like a victim figure, like a, a female civilian figure. Maybe you can use her as like a Sarah Connor figure or a victim for a uh, for a Jason Voorhees figure or for a Nightmare on Elm Street figure, you know, something like that. So I think that's a really good thing about this. Maybe I could take some pictures with her with some other figures. So really looking forward to that. But yeah, here's a little size comparison right here. And let's bring up some other female figures. Here we have some Marvel Legends female figures. Here we have the Marvel Legends Jessica Jones and the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Gamora figure, the Mezco 112 uh, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn figure, and we have another McFarlane figure here, uh, McFarlane female figure, um, as shown from The Walking Dead. And yeah, uh, Jessica Jones is a bit taller, so she's one of those taller uh, Marvel Legends figures. Let's get her out of the way real quick. Uh, she does stand a bit taller than... Harley Quinn there. Let's bring up Michonne here for better size comparison. And Michonne is just a little taller, but then again, she is kind of like kneeling and bending her legs there. So yeah. But yeah, here we have a bit of a size comparison here. And here we have her next to the Star Wars Black Series First Order Stormtrooper. So yeah, I think she would stand more in scope with more of the 7-inch figures than the 6-inch figures. So yeah, she would stand perfectly with like NECA 7-inch figures. So there you have it, guys. The McFarlane Toys Harry Potter Hermione Granger figure. Overall, I can't recommend this figure enough for any ha hardcore Harry Potter fans out there. She's amazing. She's an amazing figure. Looks great next to the duo, obviously. So yeah, highly recommend her. Anyway, guys, stay tuned to the next review, which will be over Ron right here. By the way, I give her a 10 out of 10, actually. Well, yeah, 10 out of 10. She's so far the greatest figure in the line, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, there you go. Stay tuned to the next review over Ron, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, and this has been Rubik's Film.